Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. A web browser is application software we use to surf the web. We know web browsers such as Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Microsoft Edge, but there's many other lesser-known browsers such as Brave, Opera, Yandex, etc. Today, I will introduce a special browser, the Tor browser. We use the Tor browser to surf the web, just like using other browsers. But the Tor browser has one important feature: it hides our online activities by encrypting our traffic to and within the Tor network. Today, I will download and install a Tor browser to my Windows machine, then configure it and use it. Keep in mind that it is completely legal to use the Tor browser, even though many companies, organizations, and some governments block it. Let me Google Tor browser. Here is the site, Tor. Project.org. Click the link, and here you are. Click on the download button, and you can download the version based on your operating system: Windows, Mac, Linux, or Android. I download this Windows version for my Windows machine. Once I finish downloading it, I will install it. I just follow the installation instructions. I take the default setting. It's done. Click Finish to launch the browser. Here is the Tor browser. It says the Tor browser routes your traffic over the Tor network, run by thousands of volunteers around the world. Let me skip Tor browser settings. Simply click Connect. The landing page is a DuckDuckGo search engine page. DuckDuckGo is like a Google. But it claims to be anonymous search engine. It doesn't log any of user search activity. When using the Tor browser, we should use DuckDuckGo search engine as the starting point. Now let me configure the browser setting. The first setting is security level. By default, security level is a standard. I suggest changing to the highest level. It means at this level, JavaScript is disabled by default on all sites. Some fonts of icons, math symbols, and images are disabled, and so on. If you don't understand what those means, don't worry. The setting is just adding extra protection while you are browsing the internet. Next time I use the Tor browser. The safest is the default security level. Now let me check my IP address. In the URL box, I type in check dot torproject dot org. Hit enter. Here you say congratulations. The browser is configured to use Tor. Your IP address appear to be one eighty five dot two two zero. Dot one zero two dot two four nine. The IP address is my IP address over the Tor network for this visiting. The next time when I use Tor browser, the IP address would be different. Let me check my current Tor circuit or the routing path by clicking the padlock icon. 
You see, my entry note is in Poland. Hmm. The relay note is in Germany, and exit note is also in Germany. Interesting. These three ion routers would relay my data traffic over the Tor network. I can change my circuit if I want. Uh, just click new circuit for this site, and you see I got three new routing nodes or ion routers. They are randomly chosen as I click on the new circuit this site. Let me use the duck duck go to search for something like news. Keep in mind, Tor browser is just another web browser. You can use it to browse any site, go to any site as you did before with other browsers. There are some differences, of course. First, you might notice the connection will be slower than usual because it's going through the Tor network. Second, the website might look different than usual because Tor browser will disable JavaScript, some other things. Do not worry. That's why no one can track our activities. That's the best part. You know, when I check my browsing history after browsing, and it's empty. That's exactly what I want. Next time, I will talk about how the Tor network works from some technical perspective. Thank you very much, and see you next time.